welcome, welcome everyone. This is Tracy Una Wagner with Versatile Inspirations. And I don't know about you, but the thought of making a resolution, oh my gosh, just freaks me out because I know <laughs> that a one week, three weeks, or a month later, I'm probably going to have regrets that I made that <laughs> resolution. So I may not continue with it. Until I heard the word renewal as compared to a resolution. And I wanna discuss that a little bit. So let me screen share and we'll get started. Wonderful, and again, we're gonna be discussing the differences between resolutions and if you're maybe ready for a renewal instead. Let's check it out. So resolutions, you've probably made some or have heard of people making them or just maybe have made like a goal for yourself for the year, which is fine. The problem is, even with the definition of a resolution, it just means a firm decision to do or to not do something. So that firm really kind of, that is probably what kind of triggers me and maybe some other people too. So the word firm even, and it probably just feels like like a glob, like firm. It means having a solid, almost unyielding structure. So something that doesn't give. So this is, I mean, to me, that is so true. It rang true. But even the second definition rang even more true to me. It's unlikely to change. So there's like no change. You can't change it. You can't manipulate it. You can't make it into maybe what is better for you. You just think of something like losing weight. I need to lose 50 pounds this year and I'm going to lose 10 pounds a month. And then if you get past that first month and you haven't lost that 10 pounds that you said you were going to, you get so stressed out or you get upset with yourself, distressed or depressed. Things just don't seem to be working out, so you just let it go. You don't even try and change it because it's a firm structure. Even though we don't necessarily think of what the definition is of resolution, the fact is, is that it's there. And for a lot of people, it feels unyielding. It feels like such a huge momentous hill or mountain that if we're not able to do it, we just kind of give up and don't go there anymore. So the fact is, is resolutions seem to be a firm or a solid foundation, something that is unyielding and is unlikely to change, which causes fear maybe fear that we can't change it. And what's the one constant in life? It's change. So we are trying to change, but yet we're trying not to change because we can't change that resolution, that firm, solid, unyielding thing. And so the fear just seems to build up and build up. And then we get stressed. We get stressed, distressed, disappointed, depressed. There are so many feelings that come from that. So when I heard the word renewal, that really struck a chord with me. It seemed gentler. And so it took that fear completely away, knocked it out of there. So what is a renewal? Well, a renewal means an instance of resuming something. It's not unyielding. It's just we're resuming something maybe from years ago or something, a thought that may have come up. We're just resuming or moving forward with that. We're replacing or repairing something. We're repairing something, which means that we can change it. The change is there and it's allowable. It's replacing. Something may not be working, so we're just going to replace it with something else. So during that 
month of maybe when you're trying to lose those 10 pounds, maybe you can replace it with different exercises. Maybe you can replace it with different healthy foods. Maybe you saw that by going out every weekend, maybe we can repair that thought by maybe going out every other week or maybe once a week or once a month. Or maybe we can repair that thinking by saying only on celebratory instances, which every day seems to be a celebration because we're alive and it's a gift. But what I'm talking about are birthday parties, anniversaries, friendly get-togethers that may not occur all the time. Just by changing that little thing, we're able to move forward and allow that replacing or repairing of our instances that maybe we weren't on target, we can repair those and replace things. And we can resume the next month moving forward with our goals. So renewals are updating our thinking. They're updating what we've decided on doing. They're upgrading. We're upgrading our ideas. We're not staying stuck and unchangeable. We're not unyielding to change. We're upgrading it. And also, when we know it's time for change, change is inevitable. And we're able to make those changes because it's a renewing. We're renewing that goal. We're renewing that idea that we want to accomplish through the year. So we can do that. Mostly, what I want you to know is you need to choose gently. Choose gently for yourself. If you're the go-getter and you are the person who needs those steadfast ideas, great. Go with a resolution. Go with something where you know that you're going to stick to it because you've dedicated yourself to doing it and that's how it's going to be. But for a lot of us, we need the ability to change and flow with how we're feeling, with how our bodies are reacting to something, and not be stressed out, not our, allow ourselves some things in life are so stressful in and of themselves, but to add that pressure onto yourself, it just doesn't do us any good. Change is inevitable. And the more that we're able to accept that and flow with it, the greater our life will be. So self-love, self-care, de-stress, try the renewal approach. If you like to make resolutions, make resolutions. That is self-care for yourself. If you want to try a re renewal instead, that's self-love and self-care for yourself as well. You know that about yourself and you're willing to change. Be kind, be loving, non-judgmental to those changes that are occurring. Just love them and love yourself gently. By allowing the change, we're being innovative. We're being just forward thinking. Why? Because we're allowing that change to happen. We're allowing the change to move us forward. We're not unyielding. We're allowing. We're allowing the change to happen and we can move forward with them. So if you want to make resolutions and you want to make gentle resolutions, here's a a few of them. Delete hate. Practice tolerance. Demand wisdom. Remember compassion and empathy. And replace fear with love, no matter what that means for you. Wonderful. Thank you so much for spending some time with me today. Whether you choose the resolution route or the renewal route. Make it what's best for you. Don't panic. Don't get stressed. Make 2019 one of the best years of your life. Thank you so much for spending some time with me. I so appreciate it. Take care, and as always, I'm sending you and yours love, light, and eternal blessings. Bye-bye.